All right, so you guys saw that uh, obviously Logan is now one years old, and we said we were going to wait till Logan was one, and then we're going to start trying to have another baby. Going for a girl, you hear him in the background. He's like, I don't want any competition. Uh, so I got to start my TitanMedicalCenter.com uh, routine up again. Uh, they sent me my Clomiphene or Clomid. Uh, Clomiphene is the generic version of it. So I got to take my one pill I take every day, 50 milligrams of Clomid. Thank you, Titan Medical. So I took the Clomid. I take that every morning, 50 milligrams. And then we have to go to the HCG. Okay, this is the good stuff. I love getting this stuff from the pharmacy. When Titan Medical sends this to me, I get so excited. This is actually 11,000 IUs, which is an odd number, but I tell them, send me the highest one you got. Uh, it's 11,000 uh, IUs. I usually put um, three cc's of water in here. Okay, and what I do is I'll take uh, usually about a half a cc of this stuff. And I've already swabbed everything with alcohol. This is a fresh insulin syringe, which by the way, Titan Medical sends me this, uh, the syringes too, so I get everything in the mail. That's why you want to check out TitanMedicalCenter.com. Sign up on there, get your blood work done, you do your Skype interview with the doctor, and they will send you what you need. I don't need testosterone replacement right now, I just need fertility drugs essentially. So I'm going to put this right in here. Very easy, insulin syringe, one cc insulin syringe. It's, it doesn't even, I mean, it's, it's effortless. It doesn't hurt at all, no big deal. And now I also have this other thing they sent me, glutathione. I've been telling you about this. Injectable glutathione, it's the most powerful antioxidant you can use in the body. It's not orally absorbable, but through injection you can put it right into your bloodstream. These bottles are very expensive. They send them on dry ice. Uh, you have to keep them in the refrigerator. And I feel great when I take these shots. You know, I don't get sick, nothing. So this is, this is my favorite product, probably, non steroidal <laughs> favorite product from Titan Medical and usually you know they, they recommend you take one cc of this every day and it's usually like a 30-day supply I don't do it every single day to be honest with you um, I take it maybe every other day every third day um, I don't think I don't think you need it you know I think once you build up a a nice amount of this stuff in your body um, and your antioxidants and I take a lot of vitamins anyway I think that you can just kind of use, you can almost do like a, a one C, C every, you know, second or third day maintenance shot. And I think that's, that's plenty. Okay, so I got my one CC. We'll, we'll switch shoulders here. Although, you know what, I'm just gonna do it in the same shoulder. Easier for me. Okay, and that's right in there. Push that stuff in. And Hold on. Now, I don't shoot this in my chest like uh, some of these other guys do online, but this stuff is uh, good stuff. Glutathione, check this out. Obviously, HCG. So now I'm, I'm very fertile tonight because I think this is the ovulation week. So we, we have to really try hard to make sure we, uh, we produce a baby this, this month so that we don't have to keep doing this every single month. It's not as fun as, as it looks. You know, I, I know you guys like to shoot and inject drugs, but after a while, it gets, uh, it gets tiring. You know, so. Let's take a look around my kitchen. I want to show you some of the other great little products that I have here that I use. You know, everyone always asks me, Dave, what do you use? Well, I'm going to show you what I use. Um, if you come over here to my countertop, you'll see I have my, obviously, my Fiberlize product, which is one of my best-selling species nutrition products. Um, I take this, you know, twice a day, and, and usually in the afternoon, mid, probably about noon, and then I'll take it again uh, right before bed. I think the before bed one is, is the best the best one because this way when you wake up you go right to the bathroom I got my macadamia nut oil here I even have my flavor essentials and this product is made by my friend P. Ciccone at 619 muscle he gave me these three bottles when I was doing my diet guru class over there and these are great they have no sugar in them honey barbecue sweet Thai powder and taco Tuesday Okay, these are the, the ones I like the best. Uh, he gave me these three, and I've been putting, as you can see, I've been, I've been really doing the Thai powder. This is, I'm almost half done with this. And I just sprinkle this on my salads. I sprinkle this on my rice and chicken. It, it's delicious. It adds a nice, sweet, pungent taste to it. Absolutely love it. Also, I'm very happy to announce that I got my, back in stock, my Quest cereal bars. Um, these things are so freaking good. I can't even tell you. I, I, 
we went through them so fast the last time that I, we ran out of them basically. So we got the cinnamon roll, we got the waffle flavor, and we got cookies and cream. Actually, this is chocolate, excuse me, chocolate flavor. It looks like cookies and cream on the, on the thing, but it's chocolate. Um, I, I don't think I've tried chocolate. Maybe I'll try chocolate right now. I haven't tried the chocolate one. I'm not really, I'm not a huge chocolate person, so it's gotta be a really good chocolate for me to try this. These are essentially almost carb-free also. Um, ketogenic bars, these are like breakfast bars as opposed to the, the regular bars that they have. These have these like, like the, they taste like Rice Krispies, but they're not really Rice Krispies. They taste like Rice Krispie treats. Um, if you look at them, they got the little right, these are protein crisps actually. Wow. They hit it out of the park with the chocolate. This is a good chocolate. It's not too sweet. One of the things I don't like about some protein bars out there is that they're just overly sweet. They overly do it and it starts making me nauseous a little bit. I can eat like 10 of these bars and they're not gonna make me nauseous. They don't bother my stomach. Uh, they have, you know, way isolate in them. And, you know, Quest really cares about the products, you know, and ingredients they use in their products. So I I'm very happy with this. So I was super happy with that. Well, let's see what else I got here I can show you. Obviously, I have a lot of avocados in my house. Not only do I eat avocados, great source of monounsaturated fat, but my son Logan eats them, and obviously my wife Amanda eats them as well. Let me see what else I can show you. Oh, I want to show you in my freezer, okay, some of this stuff is, is Amanda's. Those are old hot dogs. I don't, I don't eat hot dogs. <laughs> Here's my Quest meals though. These things are freaking amazing, okay? This one is, let's see which one this one is. I haven't even looked through them all yet. Oh, this is the almond butter and raspberry jam sandwich. I, I, I didn't even see this one. Okay, now if you think about it, raspberry jam by, by nature is usually high in, in carbohydrates. These meals are all ketogenic meals. There's virtually no carbs. There's like three net carbs in them. There's usually two times the amount of fat versus protein. It's two to one ratio. So this one, I didn't see this one. This is a new one. This one is, is sausage, bacon, and veggie frittata, which is kind of, which is kind of ironic that you would put sausage with a veggie frittata, but um, it's, it's not real sausage. That's the great thing about it. And it's got 45 grams of fat, and it's got 14 grams of protein, and it's got like less than two grams of net carbs. So that, that's, that's, once again, these are ketogenic meals, meaning low carb, high protein, this is sausage flatbread. That, I'm gonna think I'm gonna try this one tonight, actually. I had the pizza one the other day, it was great. This one is bacon, cheddar, tomato bisque. I mean, they got some great flavors here. Yeah. Sausage flatbread, we saw that one already. What else we got here? Uh, they have sausage, egg, and cheese biscuit. That's kind of like a bacon, egg, and cheese from McDonald's. We got cheeseburger hash. I haven't tried that one either. What else we got here? I'm, I'm gonna drop these things all over the place. Let's put them here. This one is buffalo chicken flatbread. I mean, they, they, they hooked me up. They sent a lot of them. Bacon, cheddar, tomato, bisque. Let's see, I think this is the last one. I got another one down there, hold on. Cheeseburger hash, okay, that one we saw. And what do we got down here? Sausage, uh, bacon, and veggie for time. Okay, so we got about, at least, I think I named about eight different meals they sent me, so this is, I mean, these are so convenient. You just open these things up, you pull the plastic off, you pop this in the microwave for a minute, and then I put it in for another 20 seconds after just to really re reheat it up, and you eat them. It, it's that simple. They, they deliver them right to your house. If you're looking you know, to stick to a ketogenic diet, this is, makes it super, super easy. All right, here's a new discovery of mine that I'm gonna bring to the bodybuilding and fitness world here in the United States. They're called broccoli chips. Now. I know you're thinking, what the hell's a broccoli chip? Well, this company in Australia, my good friend Chris Schmidt put me in touch with them. Uh, they sent me these samples, and I, I, he said, you gotta try this, Dave. He goes, it's 40, only 40 calories per bag. It's just broccoli and salt. That's it, that's the only ingredients in here. They got like no, no I mean, it's the best, healthiest snack you could ever eat. Now, having said that, you're probably thinking, what the hell could a broccoli chip taste like? Well. It looks like a piece of broccoli. Okay, it's got a lot of salt on it, but it's a piece of broccoli that's freeze dried, basically. And this stuff is so addictingly good, they're better than potato chips. And you know what? They're guilt free because there's only 40 calories per bag. 
You can almost diet while eating these things and, and not have a problem. So I said to myself, how the hell am I going to get these to my people who watch this stuff? Well, I'm working on becoming a distributor for this stuff. In the United States, the first one, I'm going to import these bags. I'm going to put them and make them available at daypalumbo.com. They have different flavors. This is the original sea salt flavor. They have barbecue flavor and they have spicy flavor. Uh, Johnny wouldn't like the spicy. He'd probably like the barbecue though, because it's kind of sweet. I like the regular, the regular ones. I could eat tons and tons of these bags and, and never, never feel full. I mean, never feel like um, I can eat enough of them. They're so addictive. It's like eating Lay's potato chips. You know, you can't just eat one. Same thing with these broccoli chips, except they're guilt free. So this is a new product that I am working on bringing to the United States. Stay tuned. When I get them in stock, I will let everyone know. You guys are going to go crazy for this stuff, I'm telling you. I, I love to bring new stuff. I got to thank Chris Schmidt for introducing me to broccoli chips. This garage, you'll see, is my makeshift snake room right now and my turtle tank. Uh, I have my turtle tank in here as well. We're going to feed the turtles. We do this every morning. But right now, like I said, the snakes are in here, my three-car garage, but they're actually going to be going over to our new facility we're building, which I'm going to show you a little later. So uh, right now what I do is with the turtles, these are albino red-eared sliders and we take them out of the tank to actually eat, which is better for them because this way the, the, the food doesn't foul up all the water and, and a lot of times they'll, they'll eat and poop in, in this little thing and then I put them back in there. As you can see, there's two sets of them. I have uh, two big females, which I didn't know they were females because you really can't sex them when they're babies and these little, these little guys are males, I believe, so maybe in a couple of years. Turtles are very slow growing. In a couple of years, maybe we'll have some babies, I don't know. And then look, if you notice, they, they know they're going to be fed. They're coming out already. Most turtles will not just come out like this. And this guy's the biggest guy right here. We don't really have names for them, but um, they're pretty cool. If you see that little red streak on the side there, that's why they're called red-eared sliders. Now, normally these, these turtles would be green with the red eye, with the red little thing on the side of their heads. Uh, obviously, when they're albino, all the green and black turns white, essentially, or a yellowish color. And these guys are these guys are very tame, like I said, because we handle them all the time. So he wants to eat. Let's put him in here with his friend. Let's get his other big friend. This guy's not as she's not as big as, as he is, as she is. But why do we tend to call the males, you know, the big ones? But they're not. Those are your, our females. These are our males. The little guys now got to go in here. And if you see, these both were the same size when I got them, like a couple months ago. And this one got really big. And this guy is a little puny guy still, but. They love the blood worms. It's about 72 degrees outside right now, which normally would be too cold for my snakes, but it's, it's the winter season, it's the breeding season, and they like to get a nice, nice temperature drop. The great thing about South Florida is that the temperatures at here are almost ideal for snakes. So. Um, I open up the garage doors during the day and at night and you know it cools down at night It gets warmer during the day and that's exactly what will simulate or stimulate them to b start breeding so um, I'm gonna be putting our I fed them yesterday I'll be putting my males back in with my females today and hopefully we'll see some nice breeding action uh, We could do that. Uh, I can show you some snakes. Maybe I'll show you a couple Let's see if we have any cool snakes. I can show you this people will probably like this one Ooh, this look there's still a mouse in there that wasn't eaten this is my albino female with a little rat in the back that has not been eaten yet. <laughs> uh, she's pretty cool. This is, a, um, this is a clown ball python, which is really cool. It's called a super pastel clown, also called a killer clown. And uh, she's hopefully going to be breeding. She's, she's pretty chunky. We're going to get some nice babies from her a little later this year. This is a regular clown, ball python, which is kind of cool. It has like a clown-like pattern on the head. That's why they call it that. Hopefully she'll be breeding for me also this year. And we have a bunch of other, we have some, uh, let me see what babies we have. We just, this is a brand new baby we just produced like the other day. It was a, it was a random clutch I never thought we'd have. This is called a champagne hypomelanistic enchi. I know they have weird names. But this is very, very, uh, it's got three genes in it and it's wacky looking pattern, great color. Uh, like I said, I produced it by accident. I, I had a, a snake that I didn't know was pregnant and it produced four eggs and we got some great looking babies here. So this will be up on my, my Palumbo's Pythons and Boas Facebook page probably for sale pretty soon. But 
as you can see, this is it's exciting when you get these little babies and, and, and then you grow them up and then you breed them and you breed them to other things and you put new genes in them. So this is one of my new obsessions.